seeing uh, how to send uh, bulk emails uh, with different attachments to people so we'll be using uh, multiple tools uh, first tool will be like uh, outlook and next will be excel and uh, then uh, there's an add-on called ku tools which is an excel add-on so we'll be using the tool and also there is uh, one more tool called bulk rename utility so uh, i'll be using this tool also so let me uh, uh, explain the scenario so here we have a list of people uh, and their email address and their uh, certificate number uh, this is the data which i have and apart from that we i have this um, uh, certificate also so you can see that there are 31 uh, certificates are available and here i can see that there are 31 uh, candidates are there so what i need to send is i need to uh, send uh, like for example if it's shanti and then i need to send this certificate to her the certificate is available over here you can see number is 5785 you can see it's 5785 this certificate i need to send it uh, to this person so uh, we can see that uh, there is some uh, names which are there before so you can see this one we need to remove so if we remove the first part from one underscore till security underscore then uh, it will be only the certificate number so I'll be using bulk rename utility to do that. So you can see that um, bulk rename utility, I have, uh, uh, you can see the actual file names. You can see the stop certificates. Um, you can see the file name and uh, this will be, uh, I will be renaming this to, I'll be removing the f first half of the file name. So you can see that uh, if in all file names you can see that this hcsa hyphen is common so before hcsa hyphen i will be removing this data so you can see this over here uh, remove crop before like we can put hcsa uh, it's taking the first instance of hcsa so what we need the second instance you can see um, second instance is uh, it's hcsa hyphen one i'll put hcsa hyphen one you can see that uh, the desired output we have got it we have got the desired output um so this is the certificate number dot jpg so let me rename the file if i click on rename all this file should be renamed so let me rename and i click on okay so the files are renamed you can see the files are renamed so i just need to send this file to uh, the candidates uh, so the first uh, half is over i can tell now i will create an excel sheet with uh, the ku tools i'll uh, Type create uh, mailing list. Just hold on for a sec. Okay, we have email ID, first name, and then I'll select title. Uh, title would be I will be using title and then in place of uh, uh, the certificate number. So let me click on create. So here we have. All this first three information we have, all we need is just the uh, attachments. So what I will do is, I'll just copy this part and I'll paste the path over here. Okay. And and uh, I just need to append this and this one, uh, column D and column C. 
and I need to add some more details. So what I'll be doing is I will create uh, I'll create uh, a concat function, con concatenate function, uh, which will be the path followed by a slash followed by the certificate uh, number which is actually the file name followed by uh, extensions dot jpg so i'll click on this so you can see the path is created so what i will do is um, i'll just make this as static static and c2 the c column is static so i'll just drag this sorry once i drag this you can see that it's dynamically uh, created the file name along with the path so uh, what i need to do is i just need to copy these values and feed it onto the sheet so now first name and email uh, okay it's email is first and followed by the title and uh, this is the last so let me copy that email will be the first one followed by name followed by uh, followed by the certificate number followed by certificate number and followed by the the fourth column would be the path okay i will just copy these values and i will paste it over here so you can see the data over here ah okay uh, i just need to select uh, paste values only so my bad uh, now i have selected the data and let me select paste values so it has pasted the details which i want so um, just for uh, testing purpose i will just send email to these three people uh, so next would be ku tools and send email already uh, uh, i will create a new email hi good day Congratulations on Congratulations on clearing the examination uh, Your uh, certificate number is Sir Certificate attached for your reference. Okay, and we'll just fill in these values. Hi, followed by the name, which is first name. Insert placeholder. And your certificate number is the title. And the title where it says a uh, uh, it starts with I'll click on this insert placeholder thank you okay now um, we can uh, put a title e certificate so uh, we can send an email so once we click on send, uh, it should send email to the person. Hi, 
the first email will be hi shanti good day congratulations on clearing the examination your certificate number is this number 115 and uh, certificate attached for your reference this certificate will be attached the certificate will be attached you can see uh, path is correct and followed by this so everything is correct setup uh, so far it's okay so let's click on send well, three emails should go so it says three emails has been sent so let me open my outlook so you can see the certificate uh, is sent already so you can see the certificate number followed by that attachment 5787 and uh, you can see the certificate number 5786 followed by that attachment and this one also 5785 followed by that attachment so this is how you send bulk emails so it's very easy uh, you just need to use a combination of multiple tools to make your uh, uh, work easier so let me know in the comments if there's anything I can help you with. Thank you.